guys and welcome back to my channel. I would say it's been a minute but it's actually been a whole goddamn year. ADHD can only focus on one thing at a time so I've been making like my hyper focus TikTok and I totally packed Instagram and YouTube. Probably lost a shitload of subscribers <laughs> because I've not even been here so that's probably what's happened in the year as well. But I also got engaged and I've taken women now, I obviously watched before but like even more so. A whole video is a great way to come back, it's a great excuse to come back. It's also like a video that I'm going to like stay mentally on board of. It is a... Team U haul, is that how you can say it? It's a Team U, Team U haul. I'm not going to lie to you, so I was going to do an unboxing. This was going to be an unboxing video, and we're going to get all like excited together. And then last night, I just went through this weird period, you know, I just started unboxing everything, and I was getting all like, get out of my feelings. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Put excited over a microwave cleaner. I've not used this company before, this is my first time shopping with them. Legit. Or is it a load of shit? We're going to find out today, hands. We're going to set this order and see what I got and if I'm impressed with it and if it's good, is it bad? Was it any like major disappointments or feels in this order? Then we're going to find all that. Out. How Sheen sometimes has two warehouses or like different warehouses so your order can get split into several packages. With Team U, as I had packages split into three. One arrived with Avery and two arrived with Royal Me. I was pure obsessing over these packages. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hyper focus, obsessed mode last night and I was like reorganising the kitchen. I was on a buzz. I was meant to leave the house to a food shop and I ended up two hours late. The thing like I say for ADHD, I used to talk <laughs> these videos and people probably thought I was bored in the spot but I ended up with ADHD. Like, it's actually cool. I talk for Scotland. That's fine. I'm, I'm embracing that now. I'm embracing this new side of my personality that I officially has a name and I'm just going to wonder if I can just fuck up a lot and just show me the Good and I, I agree. Yeah, so this was meant to be for bowls, but my IKEA bowls don't fill in it. So, so if you shop at IKEA and you've got your cutlery, your plates, your bowls from IKEA, they aren't going to fit in this. I think this is the medium size, and yeah, my bowls did not fit in this. So now I'm going to just like think of another reason. Okay, another extremely random thing I bought was this pasta trainer. Now, I'm not going to lie, in hindsight, I probably would not use this because you have to tip your pasta into this, then drain the water. But something just feels icky about that. I don't know, it was giving me major ick enough what about like dipping my pasta out the pot and into this. I was like, Right, I've just seen all these little kitchen gadgets and all these little kitchen sessions. I'm like, add that, add that. I'm going to add that to a basket. Oh, wait, 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 check out, check out what I could be buying. Add that as well. And that, like, ASMR, but make it creepy vibe. In hindsight, I'm probably not going to use that. Next up, I got this. This is for ironing. So this is an ironing protective cloth. And this is in the size 40 times 60 centimetres. So it is... The biggest one they sell, they sell two sizes. This is the biggest one, I'm going by the packaging. And it is supposed to keep the iron from directly touching your clothes. Do not leave a heated iron on clothes. Why would anyone leave a heated iron on clothes? But the packaging, it has that fun bit so you could remember what it was that you actually bought. I'm loving that, like it helps me remember what actually this was because this just arrived looking like that. I'd be like, uh, what? It's like inside, it's just like, oh, that's pretty big. Okay, that was it folded, so it's massive. Can you see me? That over your t-shirts and protect them, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm really bad at ironing and my fiance is the exact same. He doesn't burn clothes, but he's shit at getting wrinkles out, whereas I just burn clothes, like I just go all in the steam and I end up burning everything. I go too hard in the steam and he goes too little in the steam, so he help us getting steamy and finding the right balance and doing so. We are a generation of buyers of random shit. And this was a little toothpaste squeezer, oh my god. I'm a kid at heart, right? But like, it's a little toothpaste piece and it's a frog. Oh, it's adorable. I'm currently using this thing, I don't know, and didn't fit bowls as a bin for all this pack. Do you find uses, Do you find uses? When I was saying that there, I was getting proper like, we buy in the car, dot com vibes. Anyway. Next up, a sponge with a handle. So I seen this and I just thought it was out, like, I think it was only a pound, it was not under two pound though. No. I just thought it's so cool, so it's like a little bathroom, like, scrubber. Do my beats. Love that has a handle and it's a sponge with a handle and I don't know, I just, I just, I just don't know. I'm absolutely obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed <laughs> with this next one. I'm absolutely obsessed with this next one. So this is a banana slicer. Oh my god, I've wanted one of these for so long. So it came in the box with like a banana diagram on it and it just says a banana slicer. Just just see what it is. <laughs> it's so cool. So you 
put the banana through there and it gets like perfect slices. I'm so, I cannot wait, you know what? I'll film my banana cutting later because I'm going to have a banana or pancakes later and I'll film myself like doing this to see if it's actually worth the money. I mean, it was, it was only a couple of quid. But <laughs> I fucking love that. Oh my God, how cool is that? And it's yellow as well. Like it's getting down with the banana bag. And this next one, a lot, you don't know a lot of sites, like, you know, those kind of like secondhand sites where they're just like up the price because they know it's a good gadget. Well, the OG on Team Room probably shown as well. This is a mattress lifter. So when you're like, you know how you're doing the bottom feet, I can't relate to this because I always get my fiance to do the sheets. Don't come at me. But I just don't have the time for that. Like mentally, like my brain's like... Any time that I have to put that bottom sheet on, I just, I just cannot, I just cannot, four corners is fucking one corner too many. I seen this, I was like, do you know what babe, I'm going to make your life so much better, don't say I'm not good to you. And I got this and basically you pop that under your mattress with the handle, so you pop it under the mattress with the handle and it can easily lift the mattress up with one hand while you're popping over the corner of the other. So I will keep you informed of how he found it. This is such a little cute accessory, so I see this. And it basically cleans your glasses and stuff, so it's just like it's so small and so compact. I just, I just loved it. I just loved that. There's no reason for it. I just loved that. And it has like the little soft rubber in the inside, and I just thought it was so cute. So you no, know I'm gonna get a pair of sunglasses right now. These sunglasses, don't know if you can see that, but they are so grubby. I had them on holiday, so they've got like sun cream and everything in it. But let's see, right? So I think you just do this, just nip it over, and then maybe do that. What the hell? I don't know. I, I really hope this shows up in camera. And this is the one I just cleaned. They were the exact same. I'm gonna go like, you can actually see me through that one. But you can't see me through that one. So cool. Oh my god. Wow. Right. I'll probably end up forgetting to clean the other side of that lens because I'll get distracted. It's an absolute win for me. I absolutely love that. And it's just so small and so compact. It's probably that small that I'm going to lose it really quickly. But it's the thought that counts. I really do love that. And I do hope that I don't lose it because that is quality. This next one I thought was absolutely hilarious. It is an angry mama. Actually it's called an angry mama. I'm not even joking. I just thought because she's blonde I'm like relatable. So it says that the microwave cleaner. So she loses her head apparently as well. Like it's so funny. Basically it removed angry mama's hair by twisting to the right and lifting off. Then remove her head and then you add vinegar and water to fill lines on the body inside. Add lemon juice or essence for a pleasant odour. Do not in capitals overfill. Replace the head and hair parts. Microwave for seven minutes on high. Allowed to stand for two additional minutes. Remove her by her arms, which stay cooler. And the remaining liquid inside can be applied by a sponge to wipe microwave clean. So that's basically just like she's so angry that she just wants to clean her microwave, like. I don't know who would be that angry that what would clean a microwave, but I like I think all the steam comes out of wee noggin here. Uh that's what that was absolutely cool. Like I hope I use it because you know, like I've never actually cleaned the inside of the microwave. Is that disgusting? I don't know. I've actually I've only cleaned it outside, I've never cleaned it actually inside it. So it probably needs some angry mama time, not gonna lie. Okay, so I've got this toilet brush head and it comes in parts, so it's like really, really compact and you just build up yourself. Oh, silicone toilet brush, which I think is absolutely perfect because you know how you get like the bristle brush and everything just like without TMI here, but it just gets stuck to it. Well, this is obviously like easily clean. You could like fence it under the sink. I don't know, but whatever you choose to do with it, it's easier clean than like the bristle because that shit, no pun intended, stick. You stick it to your wall so it's really, really compact and you know how like usually a standard one just kind of gets in the way and everyone knows what it's for. I just feel like this is really cool because it sticks to your wall. I just thought it's amazing because like it's not super obvious and in your face, you know, that way. I just feel like it's a really nice addition if people had like, I don't know, like an Airbnb or like they had guests, like a guest bathroom and things like that and didn't want like that kind of like, you know how like toilet brushes can just ruin a vibe, they ruin a mood and I feel like this just stuck to your wall, doesn't ruin a vibe, it doesn't ruin a mood, it's good vibes and just pull it out and it sticks to the wall for the back. It comes with like one of those little stickers that are really, really sticky like anything I have stuck these down with from Sheen or like anywhere else, that shit. No fun intended, sticks. So what you're probably waiting for the only clothes item that I bought and it was this denim jacket, should I say. Now, I actually seen this on like reseller sites on Facebook and they're selling it for like 30 odd quid, which is an absolute joke. So it's 15 pound, I think. It was 15 pound on TMU. And 
you've probably seen this come up in Facebook ads if you're like a serial shopper like I am then you'll have seen this on Facebook ads it's like a bright pink jacket in lilac as well but it is so thin like it's okay for them to be thin but it's ridiculously thin like it's too thin it doesn't have any shape or structure to it sleeves as well like there's so much threads coming out of it and the sleeves like you can see how thin and nasty that material is like i could not make this work it does not look flat and on at all if you see this in your facebook ads and you want to track down like the original seller that you know is going to be a lot cheaper just if you're not going to look too cute in it there i say that you're not going to look cute in it it's just it's nasty like it is actually nasty last few things that actually stuff oh, already place around the house and i'm trying to like retrieve them for this video because i was just i was oh my god it was such a vibe last night i just get so consumed by the newness like i was like what a time to be alive by the way a little wooden thing with the pot. This was, I think, five pounds. I'll, I'll take it apart. Right? It comes with a little tree that you sit them on. They also do this in the acrylic clear version, so it looks something like that with the little like lids and stuff. So if you like like clean vibes, then they do do that version as well. But I thought this was perfect for the bathroom. And then another way you just get that little hold up, like. I can do better than that. The acrylic version for the bathroom in the future for your normal like cotton swabs, cotton buds, etc, etc. But I thought this is perfect to store like vitamin gummies in. So I've got my little melatonin night gummies in here. And I'm going to label these because obviously I'm going to end up like taking the wrong gummies for like different things. I don't have any gummies for this one yet. Maybe I'll just put like um, mints in it, sweets, I don't know, everyday vitamin gummies. So when you look at that and it's on my little, as of last night and I have like a breakfast station and I put that on the little breakfast station just so we remember to take our gummies. I just think that's perfect than like bulky packaging all over your gaff. Get me like black and white labels on them. They're my little label maker that I also sell on, also personalised on Etsy. It's just a fucking vibe, okay? I'm playing this down but I just think it's a vibe and it's absolutely cool as fuck. Really chuffed with that. As you can probably tell, I just think it's a vibe. So that is like my new thing. It's my new thing. Thing. And I absolutely love that. Actually, I'm not taking a vitamin today. I've actually not taken a vitamin today. I should probably do that right now. Guys, this is your sign to take your vitamins and beat them look cute. I've seen that and I was obsessed. This is a magic brush, electronically driven care free. It's a rechargeable brush. It looks like this and it has a multi use. I've actually already used this on my walk, which I make like stir fry noodles in a little video up here now. So I use the scouter pad for this. And this pad, this head is literally for your pots and pans and it just does all the work for you. But not only does it all the work for you, it actually does a really, really good little look how much it removes from that little bit. Like it removes so much of the grease and the grime. And yeah, it's an absolute 10 out of 10. It's actually on like a little roll movement. It just goes on with like this on off button and then you just attach the different head, the cable, so you just recharge that. It also comes with the little like instructions don't need those. And so like you just attach any brush that you want. Really easy. So that's this scouter one. Pretty cool isn't it? So this one I thought was really cool by the way. So this is like obviously like your kind of like bathroom cleaner. I thought that was absolutely amazing. I'm going to say like see if you're cleaning your wet wall and stuff. That might be good at like de-smudging your wet wall. For a little like polishing thing. I'll hook at the bottom so you can hang that up. Kitchen wall fan, your cleaning fan, like it can just slot right in there. I absolutely love that and I think, yeah, so behind this little blue silicone bit is your charging port. So it's just like kept away, really, really neat. I absolutely love that. The design of that is absolutely incredible. Like I'm in place. The box did arrive bashed to fuck. Obviously it's wet now because that so impressed with this i'm going to use it loads especially for cleaning pots and pans and the bathroom like i just think doing your sink just like letting her work it like letting her go home is going to be an absolute game changer i absolutely love that i just love gadgets what can i say and this is a gadget and a half so definitely pick this up it's called the magic brush and you need this in your life like trust me so the next two things i've actually placed in the kitchen so you're going to come you walk with me just now and i'm going to show you the kitchen stuff and i'll just talk over it and i'll show you over my face right now the different things in the kitchen so first up we have the coca pot storage oh my god right so this used to be a drinks counter you can see from the side now it is a breakfast counter as of last night so it is so cool i 
try it with like a more nutty or like fibre cereal and it jammed too much, it didn't come out. So this is only going to really work for like my Cocoa Pops gals, my Rice Krispie gals, anyone else it's probably not going to work for unfortunately. Up to the wall by a sticky backing and you can easily just pop it off to like offload on the counter and you can just pour it into the top but the lid comes off and then you just press a little button and your Cocoa Pop like shit out, it's so cool. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it, I'm actually going to buy another one for Rice Krispies, I don't like Rice Krispies but I just thought it's better to have two and like go for an aesthetic and yeah I thought I'm just going to buy another one just because it was £9 and honestly it's the best £9 I've spent I've never seen anything like that at all like you usually see like obviously like the little plasticky ones you just put in a cupboard and they're usually five quid on their own or something so the fact this is £9 and it sticks to your wall and has a push button is fucking insane like I absolutely love that honestly if there's one thing from all this to buy this is right up there at the top it's so so cool so the next one is this little tree I just had the vision of you know how you go to a hotel and you see like a tea coffee sugar and the kettle all on the one like kind of like rack I just love that I love that hotel vibe so when I seen this my kind of aesthetic in the kitchen is wood I think this is a medium sized tree they do like small medium lard and I honestly just love this I just love the like look of it it's like a little tea coffee sugar station you can just lift it it just looks really really cool next up is the plate storage so it is um, for large plates however my large plates do not fit in it because of the like height of the cupboard so definitely take in the height of your shelves into consideration with this but yeah they are actually so cool it just needs they're not like everything is a bit messy in there do this like the kind of steel ones but they also do like kind of plasticky ones there's so many options like oh my god the options are insane so you'll definitely find a storage look or storage aesthetic that is right for you last but by no means least tons is this oh my god right I'm so busy with this. So this is my biggest flex right now. So you open up my cutlery drawer and you're like, ah, it's just gonna be like that plasticky, like traditional, like cupboard strip. No hands. It is now bougie. Like it is chic. It is honestly the vibe of the house. So you open it and I bought two of these because I bought one for like the random utensils and stuff and then one for the actual cutlery. So I plan to label this as well. And when you open it, you see, like, it just looks so organised. Like, oh my god, it's such a vibe. So, I need to stop fangirling over this real quick. It's so neat. Like, you don't want to be seeing your knives, your forks. Also, having them constantly on display to dust and, like, anything that might fall in your drawers isn't, like, it's not practical at all. I just thought this is really neat. It's really tidy. I decided to put the other side was the utensil one. So, your tin openers and all that kind of thing. And then the middle was all the bits that are too big to obviously fit in it. And then the side are just, like, our little bits and bobs of that drawer. But the space in here now is incredible. Like, this is what we had before. So, it was very bulky. And it took up way too much room. And it just always looked messy. It looked cramped. So, this was definitely making the most of the space at that. Lastly, I will just say, I love that they actually have their own branded packaging because you know how she just gives you like basic bitch packaging. This actually has their name all over it. It's bright orange, so you definitely cannot miss this. Like, if all your mail's your parcel is missing, <laughs> they are at it because you cannot miss this shit. Like, it actually goes my top. It's a bag. All, like, three of my parcels came in that, even the smallest ones, so they are definitely consistent with their packaging too. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's nice to be back. I actually really enjoyed filming with this. I'm not going to lie. It was really, really nice to be back. When I do my second order, which is definitely going to happen today, I will probably film that as well, and hopefully I can make that one an unboxing one so we can discover it together. Definitely check the website out. It's going to probably cost you some pennies because you think it's cheap, but those £5, those £2 add up. As you can tell by this, this was, like, 70 quid which is still amazing for all the little things I got because some of these should be way more pricey. One thing I can confirm here it is legit. You will get clothes and stuff that might not be as good quality or might have different colours from the monitor and stuff but it is definitely legit. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's so weird saying that again. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. Welcome you back. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and sassy. Bye. It's good to be back bitches.